this point, I'm sure we're all pretty familiar with the no makeup makeup look. There's so many ways you can do this. This is going to be beginner friendly and I am going to be using some makeup. It's not going to be as much product as, you know, a full makeup face like I just did, but it's really going to accentuate your features. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Dawn and welcome to my channel. If you're not new here, welcome back girl. I usually film on my camera, but my makeup videos haven't come out the best lately. So I'm filming on my back camera of my iPhone. Hopefully it's a little better and you can see a little better. The number one most important thing when it comes to making sure your makeup looks good, whether it be no makeup, makeup, full glam, literally anything, is to prep your skin correctly and hydrate it. Okay, we want product to go on hydrated, prepped skin. Don't let me catch you applying makeup to non-prepped skin, unless you're in a rush. You can see right now my skin is like really shiny and glowy, hydrated. I washed my face because it was feeling a little oily, so I washed it. Then I put on some moisturizer, put on some aquifer on my lips because I am an aquifer girly. Love her. And I let that sink into my skin for at least 20 minutes. I think I did it like 20 minutes ago. Make sure you prep your skin and hydrate it and also make sure that you let it absorb into your skin before you are applying your products. I do have lash extensions on. You can add on lash extensions or you can just wear mascara. I have beauty marks, but I also have a couple natural freckles and I love them. And we're gonna just try to, you know, bring those back a little bit later. We're gonna start with our eyebrows. Eyebrows frame your face. I personally like to use Benefits 24 hour our brow setter the wand is flat as you can see i like to evenly apply the product all over my brows like that then i like to brush the brows upward i like to take the flat part of the brush and brush upwards again but flattening it to my skin it gives it a semi laminated look and then i'll take the thin side again and clean up the brow You can leave it feathery, but I'm not a fan of the soap brow on myself. So I'm gonna fill it in just a little bit. Maybe if I can find my stuff. Found it. The pencil, it's a lot more natural than using a powder or pomade. This is the Morphe Definer Brow Pencil. In some of the areas where I feel like, you know, my eyebrows are a little, a little empty, I follow the way that my hair is laid. So here on the like mid to ends, it goes out. On the inner corner tends to go up do a very light line down here same thing on this side you can see it's a little empty right here so i'm just going to fill that in if you want to use a primer you definitely can i'm just going to spray a setting spray on my face Too faced makeup insurance setting spray make sure y'all shake it now that that's dry we're gonna get into skin which is pretty much my favorite part instead of foundation you want to use a skin tint these are two of my favorites i'm gonna use the fenty ease drop today this is in the shade 11. i'm a little bit more pale right now because it's winter but that's all right for a little extra glow i'm gonna add in this halo tint highlighter by ysl beauty i'm gonna apply this with a damp beauty blender i've recently gone back to applying my foundations and everything with a damp beauty blender chef's kiss love it and i'm gonna say this in every video i use one we want a damp beauty blender not a wet one not a dry one so make sure you fully saturate this with water in the sink you know literally fully saturate it wring it out take a paper towel wrap it around the beauty blender and then squeeze the excess water into that paper towel so that is the perfect damp consistency but it's not wet to touch it just gives such a good application shake 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 adding it to my hand that was probably too much do gold mixing that together i'm going to dot this around my face avoiding my eye area and then i'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender I love a skin tint because I can still see my freckles. It doesn't really feel like there's anything on my face. Make sure you get into the creases of your nose. I'm gonna just add a little bit of concealer. NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Macadamia. It's a little lighter than my skin, but it's not super, super light. I do have deep set eyes, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of concealer right under where it's deep set. I'm not gonna add it underneath my eye directly. Same thing to this side. And just a little bit on my smile lines angled up at the corner of my eye let that dry down i'm using literally the lightest amount now i'm taking a real techniques brush blend that out with a super light hand and dabbing motions bring that up the bridge of my nose basically where it's at and then anything that's left over i will bring into my crease and then blending this part up with smile lines 
Fenty Beauty's Matchstick in Mocha. I say the lightest amount, so I'm just blending that out on my hand first, dabbing it where there's natural shadows on my face. So when I go like this, you can see like right here. Add just a little to my nose, go to the sides, bringing it into my eye, to the corner of my eye, and bring that up. I usually go for a very pink blush. This is the color of the one I love using. I'm gonna go for a more natural looking blush. This one, it is a cream blush. This is the Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint from YSL Beauty in New Pinch. I did do a few videos with YSL Beauty on my TikTok though but um, this video itself is not sponsored. Feel free to use whatever products you feel work for your skin. It's this pretty natural orangey color. Taking a brush and doing it on my hand so you can control how much product you're putting on. Add that where I naturally get pink, which is like right here. The new line has like skincare built into it, which for a no makeup makeup, natural makeup, love. Yeah, this gives more of a natural glow than like the pinks and stuff. If you're like sunburnt slash sunkissed, that's exactly what this color gives. So I love it. Just to warm up our face, I'm bringing that up into my temple and then into my cheek. Because apple on my cheek is like right here. I don't know if y'all can see, but you can see my freckles. And also I'm using dabbing motions, not swiping motions. Then I'm also going to take some on my nose. To get a little bit more of that contoured look on your nose, I know we did like a light swipe of the bronzer. Take a concealer, like I said, a little bit lighter than your skin. I'm gonna place it literally just down the middle of your nose, not all the way, maybe like halfway. And then sort of in the middle of your eyebrows right there. We blend this out in place. Dabbing motions only, light hand. Again, going in with the Halo Tint Highlighter in New Gold. Put it on my finger and just dab it around, blending it out a little on my nose. I'm going to just go in under my eyes again. And I'm gonna set my under eyes. Maybelline's Fit Me Powder into Tone Powder Puff, dabbing it on my hand. Go into this inner corner area and under my eye. middle of my forehead. The excess I will just lightly pat over my face because these are cream products but it doesn't have to be too set with my same eyebrow pencil. Just going to dot around where my normal freckles would be. Finger and blend those out. Again another patting motion. But I do have like beauty marks everywhere so I'm gonna go over those. And with the setting spray, let it dry. A powder puff and the excess powder and just patting it into my under eyes. Or anywhere I feel like I'm a little too shiny. The more natural colored uh, lip liner. So again, you can go in with the aquifer. Because I like the tint of it, I'm gonna use the Laneige sleeping mask. Annoying to bring around with you. It looks weird when you apply it. Um, but it is so good so that your lips don't dry out over the day. It's really natural. It has like the lightest light, light, light pink tint to it. And again, your lips will stay hydrated. We're exuding natural, glowy. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps somebody out. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.